Arkansas in trouble. Billy Ray Smith. Billy Ray Smith. Dex, the quarterback. Billy Ray Smith coming out of there with it. He thrown. Billy Ray Smith made the play. He's an All-American. Man that got there first was Billy Ray Smith. <laughs> hey, this is Billy Ray Smith Jr. and you're listening to the Morning Rush. Welcome back into our number three of the Morning Rush, going in the phone lines and welcoming in one of the biggest studs in the history of Arkansas football, Billy Ray Smith Jr., a guy you did not want to line up against if you're an offensive lineman. Billy Ray, appreciate you making some time for us, man. Oh, great to be on, man. This is exciting for me. A lot of people have been asking, hey, what's Billy Ray doing? What's he been up to? So can you kind of update all the Razorback fans listening where you're living and what you're doing right now? (laughs) I'm still in Del Mar, right outside of uh, San Diego, doing a little bit of radio, but not much. You know, just having a good time. We were talking before you came on about just San Diego itself. When you heard your name called to get drafted to the San Diego Chargers, Billy Ray, how elated were you to hear those words? I had to ask, where exactly is San Diego? (laughs) Because, you know, I'm not really that good with geography. But, um, no, I I knew the Chargers were going to pick me before the draft. It was a fantastic moment. Let's go back to picking a college because your dad was a legend at Arkansas. You were born in Fayetteville. Was was there ever even an option not to be a Razorback? I mean, you, you grew up in Texas. You, you played high school football in Plano. Was Arkansas always the target or is there even a consideration to play somewhere else? No. I took my visits and I think that's the smart way to go, even if you had one that, that you, you have at the top of your list. You know, you you have to you have to kind of go around and and find out which programs uh, are going to be better for you. And and I I knew I knew Coach Holtz and and the Razorbacks were where I was going to play. You played in a state championship game in the old Texas Stadium, which is, isn't standing anymore, in front of fifty thousand people, which I believe is still a Texas high school state championship record. What do you remember about that day? Because, I mean, generally you have to wait till a huge college game or maybe a pro opportunity. Very few high school kids get to play in front of 50,000, Billy Ray. Yeah. Well, and, and you have to remember that you can't ask football players to remember what it was like 30 years ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That it, we just don't remember things like that. that it doesn't happen. Um, no, but it was 1977, and it was a – yeah, it was it was fantastic. We um, we were going against Port Natchez Groves, as I recall, and um, and it was it was a great great game. So uh, you know, great great day for Plano. Former Razorback, former Charger, Billy Ray Smith Jr. here with us on the Morning Rush. Billy Ray, you still hold the tackle for loss record at Arkansas, and it's really not close. Trey Flowers is second behind you, man. How are you so disruptive? How are you such a force at the line of scrimmage for the Razorbacks back in the day? When they brought in Don Lindsay uh, as our defensive coordinator, and he put he he changed the defense, and he changed me. Um, my first year or two, I was playing nose guard at two hundred and five pounds. <laughs> that doesn't work. Um, so my junior year and my senior year. I was being coached by Don Lindsay and, um, you know, just changed everything. It was, a, it was a fantastic defense, and it was just, I mean, made for me. And it was, um, it was, it was a great couple of years for, for the Hogs. So, Billy Ray, you mentioned when you got there, when you're playing defensive line, defense at 205. That, that's a little yeah. hairy, man. That's, a, that's difficult, especially when you're playing – in the tough Southwest Conference. You don't have to tell me that. <laughs> you experienced I, I lived it. it. <laughs> How did you overcome the weight differential and become the player you were? Yeah, I, I just made it work. You know, um, I, yeah, I, I had a dad that played 13 years in the National Football League. And the tricks and, and, and the tips that he gave me Um, I mean, it it was, it was almost unfair, you know? Um, so the the kind of things he would tell me to, um, uh, you know, just to kind of play with the offensive lineman a little bit and 
uh, you know, get them to jump off sides and, you know, not, not go outside of the rules, but, you know, just enough to get them to jump off sides. But, um, <laughs> you know, I, having, having a 13 year NFL veteran, um, telling you as a high schooler and a college player, um, different, different ways to, to take a part of an offense. I'm, I'm telling you, it's a, it was a, it was a fantastic thing, and I'm I'm so so happy that I that I had my dad with me. Your head coach was one of the master motivators, Lou Holtz. Uh, take us inside <laughs> playing for for Coach Holtz. Uh, how would he go about getting the teams that, that you were on amped up? Because there's a couple of games in particular I want to ask about. But what was the aura? What was the atmosphere around a Coach Holtz team? He was he was just one of the great motivators. You know, he was a. Uh, uh, a great coach and and a great motivator you can't use one without the other and and Lou was uh, he was great and you know we would always be you know on fire when we took the field and and normally it it had you know worked pretty well 1981 Texas game October 17th <laughs> Texas is ranked number 1 and Arkansas beats them 42, 42 to, 11. to 11. What happened that day? Tell it. Tell us how it all came together. Oh boy, um, what happened that day? So, um, you know, we had a we had we we kind of put in a, a little bit of different defense, and I think we changed some some things on the offensive side. But um, uh, we we just took those guys apart. And I, you know, I, I guess they may have been overconfident, but that was, that would be, you know, on them, not certainly not on us. And, um, and, you know, again, coach Holtz and, and his, uh, his staff is fantastic. Billy Ray going to Plano high school, but having a father that went to Arkansas or your friends messing with you a little bit that you were going to be a Razorback. I know there had to be a little animosity there and I bet it felt really good just kicking their keisters on that day. <laughs> no, no. It, it, listen, they they knew. Um, I, I maybe from since uh, Pop Warner that I was going to Arkansas. You know, it was it was never a uh, it was never a question. Um, I, yeah, I was born in Fayetteville. You know, so um, I, I don't I don't think any of my friends, any of my teammates, any of my opponents. Um, thought that I was going anywhere but uh, but the Arkansas Razorbacks. Billy and Ray, let's talk about the transition from college to the NFL. We talked about you being drafted by the San Diego Chargers. What was it like moving from the defensive line to linebacker? How were you able to adjust to that? Well, um, you know, the, the biggest uh, challenge that I had was that they – they told me that I was going to play inside linebacker and um, it was a position that I never played. So welcome to the NFL. You're going to play a brand new position. Have a good time. And so uh, for the first three years, it was a, a bitch. I'm telling you <laughs> a s- absolute solid bitch. Um, and, you know, I, I made the best of it. Um, and, you know, tried to, you know, just tried to kind of sink it in and, and figure it out. But, um, you know, after going through, uh, you know, the, the four years at Arkansas and, and then being flipped and, and playing inside linebacker, that was a, a little bit of a shock for me. Um, and after, after those three or four years, they brought they brought in our coordinator um, during college, Don in, Don Lindsay, and they, and we we put in a similar defense, and then things started to work. Billy Ray Smith Jr. with us here on the Morning Rush. I think about some of the great running backs that were playing on the teams you were on in your time at Arkansas, and it, it's pretty well Gary known that Anderson. yeah, Gary Anderson, Roland Sales, <laughs> and. and I think about those practices because it's pretty well known Coach Holtz didn't mind getting after it in practices. There weren't a lot of green jerseys <laughs> running around. Uh, what was it like? I mean, who was the tougher back in that duo? Because Roland Sales and Gary Anderson were both pretty tough. What were the practices like getting after it back in the 70s well, and early the, 80s? The, the, 
Yeah, the tough thing about uh, Gary Anderson is that you could never touch him. I, I still, I, ha- I haven't touched him, <laughs> in, you know, four years at Arkansas in practice. <laughs> I, I mean, Gary Anderson was that fast and that shifty, and he was, and still probably is, um, the most impossible running back to, to tackle as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Well, the, the nature of those physical practices, that's all we ever heard. Were the practices as tough and physical as the, as the reputation? You know, it, it's football, yeah. so it's, it's going to be a little physical. Yeah, yeah. I mean, by, um, by today's standards. But, it's, but, not, it, but yeah. you're not going to put the first offense against the first defense yeah. and have the guys, you know, bloody each other up. It's, yeah. I mean, that, that wouldn't make any sense. Yeah. You have a game in a couple of days, so that, that certainly wouldn't make any sense. Yeah. And, um, you know, we, we, had a, we had a pretty good tempo in practice, yeah. and I, I think that helped us on game day. To uh, to be the best defense we could be. Yeah. The nature of, of the way you were prepared at Arkansas. How, how did that go to, to preparing you for the ten year run you had in the NFL? It was perfect. Um, it was. Uh, yeah, I think it was. It was the perfect perfect uh, preparation uh, to to go up to the next level, and um, you know, and it served me well for for those ten years. Billy Ray Smith Jr. with us here on the Morning Rush. Billy Ray, do you still keep up with the Razorbacks, or is it kind of different being out there in San Diego? <laughs> no, it's, it's no different. No, man, once you're a hog, you're a hog, dog. Come on, that's just the way it is. Yeah, you you check you check the scores. You try to get some highlights, and you know that's the that's the first thing, and and mostly uh, the only thing I. I check on is how my my Razorbacks yeah. did. So so is Sam Pittman the guy? Is he going to get it done for us? Yeah, well, he better he better. <laughs> so when you when you're donning Razorback gear, Billy Ray out there in California, ha- have you encountered any Razorback fans? How often do you see a Razorback fan all the way out there in Cali? Y- you do. I mean, you know, you hear a woo pig, and um, you know, it kind of makes you smile, but you got. You got business to take care of, and uh, <laughs> yeah, you can't go back to the college days right right then. So um, you know, there's there's a time and a place. Yeah. When you see what's happened the last couple of years, some two win football teams. How how much does that personally hurt you? How much does that ding your pride as a former player? I feel for the for the guys that are that are in Fayetteville. Um, I don't I don't really feel anything for myself. I've already I've had my time, and um, and I I think that. Me and my teammates did did pretty well, but you know the guys that are that are having the you know the the, the hard time to win a game. That's you know I, it seems like if you know there's a uh, they, they just they just have to get over get over the hump and 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 get into that rhythm and start winning games and you know that's. That's maybe the, the toughest thing to do in that game. How much do you have to uh, defend the SEC out there in Pac-12 country? I don't think I've run into anybody that that doesn't believe the SEC is for real. I, I believe me. I, I mean, they they know how hard that that conference is to be a part of and and to play in the, that every Saturday. That's a that's a tough conference, man. Billy Ray, when you compare the Southwest Conference to the SEC, what similarities do you see and what differences do you see? First of all, um, the Southwest Conference, the one I played in, was much more physical, um, much more challenging, and just overall a greater conference than any other conference that we've ever seen. Sorry, guys. I just had to go off on that one. I think Arkansas was the only school in the Southwest Conference during the 80s that didn't get violations for recruiting. I could be wrong on that, but I think, I mean, there were so many teams, so many players, a little cheating going on behind the scenes. I mean, that that's crazy. You played in its heyday, man. And those those teams that, uh, that did kind of go outside the line... Um, you know, it was it disappointed me and and everybody else. I mean, it was a, it was it was it was tough to uh, you know tough to concentrate 
on your game plan with uh, with all these stories coming out well, about these different teams and the different coaches and players. But uh, you know, Coach Holtz, he uh, he kept us focused, and I think uh, I think that was the big reason that uh, we were able to make it through. So one of those teams was the Pony Express, SMU. Billy Ray, what was it like to go up against Craig James, Eric Dickerson, and the teams that SMU had in the early 80s? Fantastic. It was absolutely, it was my favorite games of all time was, uh, you know, the going against the SMU ponies. And um, just because they're, they were, I, I think, right there with the Razorbacks. and. Um, you know, you you have to beat the best to be the best, and that's uh, that's all I always how I looked at it. That's always what my dad tell me, and you know, Coach Holtz, that that's that's it. Billy Ray Smith Jr., former Arkansas Razorback, former San Diego Charger. Billy Ray, we really appreciate you making some time for us on the Morning Rush, man. All right, fellas, I'll have you on my show sometime. Sounds good. Sounds Abs- good. Absolutely, man. We can, we can do that <laughs> yeah. for sure. We'll, we'll come out there and do it in person <laughs> on the beach. Come on now. On the beach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, you got it.